That's video evidence that inmates are being tortured in Guantanamo Bay. That's what prisoners' lawyers believe and they fear the U.S. military might destroy the footage. More than a dozen captives remain on hunger strike over being held indefinitely without charge and are being painfully force-fed on a daily basis. Here's how one, one of the detainees described the ordeal in a letter to his lawyers. One Yemeni is 80 pounds, and he was brought to his feeding by the forced cell extraction team, Guantanamo's official riot police. Yesterday, the FCE team beat him when they came in and out of his cell. He is 80 pounds with one broken arm. He cannot walk, just crawl from his bed to the faucet or toilet once he needs to use it. How can someone with this condition fight eight armored guards? As I write now, a detainee is vomiting in the torture chair, having been brought there by the forced cell extraction team. The nurse and corpsman have refused to stop the feed or to slow the acceleration of the liquids. The US military has been refusing to release details of the hunger strike for the past six months. One of the prisoner's lawyers told us that the controversial video from the facility is key to unveiling the scale of abuse there. When the Guantanamo authorities force feed a prisoner on hunger strike, a lot of times there's a team of soldiers and, and riot gear who will come and forcibly pull the detainee from his cell and take him to a, a chair with multiple restraint points, strap him into the chair, arms, legs, and even his head back in the chair, and then a tube is passed up his nose, down into his stomach, and then he's force-fed. A number of my clients have described vomiting in the chair. I'm sorry to say that some clients have even said that they have noticed people who have needed to go to the restroom and defecated in the chair because the nutritional mixture uh, gives people massive digestive problems. So people are just describing really grim scenes at the base right now. I certainly hope that the government preserves the evidence and that ultimately it will be disclosed to, to us, the lawyers. But the government, of course, resisting giving over all of these videotapes, I think probably because if we all see exactly what's going on, then their claims that the procedure is humane 